All right, just gonna do another video on this whole Kyle Rittenhouse trial that's going on. Uh, it's been all over the news. I've been seeing it like repeatedly, my news feed. I don't even check it that much, and I've been seeing it repeatedly. I'm just gonna show some evidence of just the, again, the lunacy of these uh, social liberals who just wanna uh, paint him out like the, the enemy, even though he was simply defending himself and they just don't like the concept of self-defense. Uh, that's how they are, but I'm gonna show some of these tweets from these insane social liberals who are just saying all kinds of, of insane stuff and yeah you know they're not really social liberals they're just flat out communists that's all they are just a bunch of communists who hate and despise the idea of self-defense so let's get right into the tweets so first gonna show oh by the way too a twitter account i want to recommend by the way as well is um the Kyle Rittenhouse defense fund just give them a follow they are you know showing evidence that he is uh they basically are on his side they're fighting on his side showing evidence that he's innocent and doing all the stuff that needs to be done to uh, ensure his uh, freedom and that self-defense remains a uh, right. Of course, I'm not, even, I'm not even American, so just thought I'd point that out. But you see here in Canada, it's hard to get away with self-defense. But in America, you know, don't become like Canada. I'll say it that way. Don't become like this country here. But let's get right into the photos. So here is the first photo I wanted to show. Uh, first of all, they're saying that, that Kyle Rittenhouse was the... Uh, was the aggressor, or essentially was the was the murderer, essentially. Um, look at this photo right here. So this is on August 25th when the whole incident happened. Look at him, he's on the ground. And then you have this guy right here, who is coming towards him. And like he has the gun in self-defense. You know, self-defense used to be something that was a cherished right. But the communists over at the social liberal crowd in America, they hate the idea of defending yourself from an armed intruder because I showed in my other video photos that the guy was actually armed. Here's another photo that shows that one of his attackers was armed. So you have Rittenhouse on the ground, then you have his attacker holding a pistol right at him. But this guy was the victim apparently. Not to mention too, the guy was a stinking pedophile as well, not to mention that. One of the attackers was a stinking pedophile. I'm probably going to break my table eventually because I'm just so fired up right now. But uh, yeah, he shot a pedophile, but oh, he's a victim. Most of these people don't even do, do the research into these so-called victims that get shot. Of course, I'm not advocating for violence, but I am advocating for self-defense. And most of these people don't do the research in these victims, like with the whole George Floyd thing, which I don't want to say too much because I'll probably get kicked off YouTube because, you know, they hate the truth. But here's a tweet from a Jesuit, Jesuit Joe Biden, the Jesuit that he is, uh, tweeting about the whole instance. This is what he says, and they're all framing him as a white supremacist. This is what these these liberal, social liberal communists, devil-filled communists do. Oh, you're a white supremacist. If you don't follow their uh, devil, satanic communist narrative, oh, you, you're, a social, you're a white supremacist. So he says, there's no other way to put it. I mean, full screen. There's no other way to put it. The president of the United States refused to disavow white supremacists on the debate stage last night. And he goes right there. I mean, just an idiotic thing to say. Um, he, he refused to disavow white supremacists. What about you disavowing the black supremacists, you know, anarchist devils over at Black Lives Matter who endorse you, Joe Biden? How come they never ask him to, to denounce those guys, the people who are literally burning down cities the, the summer prior to the debate? I mean, do we have any kind of dose of sanity left? Apparently not. This is a tweet from Ilhan Omar, you know, the wonderful... Muslim that she is. Ilhan Omar, a domestic terrorist, executed two people. According to Tucker and his supporters, this is maintaining order. Um, did you not see the photos? Let's go back to the photo. The guy was armed. The attacker was armed. But apparently you can't defend yourself if the guy's coming at you with a gun. Literal. Just... I, I have no words. I'm just... I'm just flabbergasted. These people just don't again. These people have no, just don't do any research. They just blindly follow what the uh, what the media tells them. Okay, she says the domestic terrorists. Oh, yeah, I read that. Their murderous rants have inspired many mass shooters, and now they aren't even trying to distance themselves from it. They are excusing it. God help us. How about you excusing the attacker that came at him with a gun? How about you, you liberals, excusing the BLM? Satanists, these devil filled sorcerers over at BLM, rioting and burning down cities and looting stores and smashing cars. How come you're excusing them? In fact, some of you Democrats actually raise bail for them. <laughs> Plain and simple. Uh, it, it's it's just it's literal insanity. Here's this last tweet from this other left wing Democrat politician. Uh, I'm not even going to bother saying her name because I don't know how to pronounce it, and quite frankly, I don't even care. 
He says a 17-year-old white supremacist domestic terrorist drove across state lines armed with an AR-15. What about all the times that BLM have drove across state lines to riot and destroy cities? Everything they're saying, I could just throw right back at them. Plain and simple. He shot and killed two people who had who had assembled to affirm the value and dignity and worth of black lives. Fix your, your damn, you know, uh, I'll use that word, damn headlines. Um... Okay, again, the dignity of worth of black lives. So apparently coming at someone with a gun is, is affirming the dignity of worth of black lives. And keep in mind, this, these are the same people who would raise bail for the people all summer long back in 2020 who were burning down cities in the name of Black Lives Matter. You see, this is what they do. If you speak out against them, you're a white supremacist. If you burn down your own city and you happen to be black, oh, you're just standing up for black lives. You know, people are not going to like this. People are probably going to get offended. You know, people are, might not like me saying this. But people, the black community needs to... Uh, accept responsibility for their actions and they need to um, actually take responsibility for their actions and not just blame the white man for everything that might be too real for you to t for some people to take but that's the truth okay they don't accept they, they don't they hate the idea of personal responsibility they want to burn down their whole cities and then if you defend yourself oh you're a white supremacist time for them to accept some responsibility for their actions personal responsibility is a good trait of adulthood plain and simple and people who may not like me saying that, people are probably going to get offended, people are probably going to report this video for hate speech. You can like it or lump it. Honestly, I don't care, because this is getting to the point of insanity. Okay? If that's too real for you, go watch something else, plain and simple. It's something called manhood, okay? If you don't like it, just go away, plain and simple. So anyway, I just wanted to show some of the insane tweets from this whole situation, and I uh, do pray for the, the trial. I don't know if Kyle Rittenhouse is saved or not, but I do hope he is uh, gets free, because he deserves freedom. He was just acting in his constitutional right of self-defense plain and simple so anyway may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.